What's up guys? My name is Bryce and welcome to Bryce Games. Today we're going to be playing Human, so let's get started. Alright, so this is a really cool horror game that I found online. The basic idea is that you found a secret leaked video of something a little strange that happened at a government facility. The whole game is going to play like we're actually watching a video rather than experiencing the event, so this should be a really cool twist to a game, so let's just hop right in and see what this footage has in store for us. The following footage was captured during an attempt to hack and record a government video stream. Previously captured footage suggests that the man filming, Paul, worked for a secret sector of a frequency testing facility located deep in the Alaskan wilderness. The program is no longer being funded, thus Paul is sent to notify the employees and have them leave the premises as his supervisors monitor what unfolds as he arrives. I've taken the liberty of subtitling this video, but other than that, this footage is completely completely undoctored. All right, let's just hop right in and see what this video has in store. Oh, hi there. Okay, man, your radio is very difficult to understand, but luckily there are subtitles at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so first off, I just want to say this game looks amazing. It's so pretty. Also, how did I get here? How did I get to this secret government facility? I don't have a car over there. I don't have a snowmobile. There wasn't a helicopter. How did I get here? All right, well, I guess I'm just going to go towards the ominous light over here and see if I can't figure out what exactly is going on i'm very confused at the moment but i'm sure i'm sure my questions will be answered soon enough i wanted to say holy crap this game looks amazing just look at the snowflakes you can see like the individual snowflakes once they get close you can see like designs on them and everything that's just so cool oh man i'm always blown away by like the graphics on indie games like this this is just insane all right so what what can i do with this door right here you need to use door Oh, I've even got like shadows and stuff and I've got a body. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Oh, it's very dark in here. Can I? Oh, I've got a flashlight. Good, 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 good. Oh, wow. This is very dark and ominous. I'm very, oh, I've got a camera too. I can right click to zoom in. Interesting. Interesting. This is very ominous. Not going to lie. Uh, things could certainly be much better. This is a very, very nice government facility. Obviously, they have spared no expense. Hello, radio. Hello? Can I can I talk to the radio? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to go over here in this spooky facility of death. Uh, Zeta key card required. Are you kidding me? I just want to go in the door. Oh. Okay, okay. There's spooky noises and stuff. Not really a fan of that. Also, I'm really curious, where is everyone? Like, there should be someone in this government facility. You can't just walk into a government facility. That's that's not okay. Hello? Is there a reason I'm in this room? Oh. Hello? What was that? I didn't open a door. Hello? I'm not really sure who opened that door, but I'm uh, I'm also not sure if I really, really... Whoa! Oh! Stop! Why did the door close behind me? Okay, can I open these? No, I don't think so. Oh! Oh, it's me opening the door! I'm just... <laughs> I'm just stupid! Okay, I was just trying to open the lockers, and I was opening and shutting the door behind me. Nice! Good job, Bryce! You're proven to be really brave so far. This bodes well for the rest of the horror game, that's for sure. Oh, there's a little thing over here. Let, let's see what's on the tablet. Right mouse button to zoom. Oh, I'm actually gonna read. Oh, that is so cool. The graphics are so good for this game. Although our focus in the past few years has been primarily in auroral research, we have observed a notable difference in climate since our research began near, nearly a decade ago due to our experimentation. We cannot say if our antennas are capable of controlling climate or weather, but they certainly have the ability to influence changes in the ionosphere, thus modifying weather patterns slightly. I'd also like this particular research log to note that the past few weeks, the frequency output has been much higher, suggesting an atmospheric source is wireless feeding power to them. At the moment, we have not yet identified the source. 
Oh, all right, so apparently something is messing with the antennas, but they don't actually know what. Hello, radio, how are you? Oh my goodness, look at that, look at the graphics on this. You can actually read off the radio? Oh, that's crazy. That's so crazy. I'm sorry I'm just fangirling over the graphics, but that's amazing. Can I, can I actually go over here? Is there any way for me to go, or is this completely blocked off? Hello? Nope, I, I don't think I'm getting to that side. Let me, let me just head on back and use my Zeta key card, because I'm amazing, and I'm winning. <laughs> Alright, so this is going pretty well so far. I can't go- oh! Nope, nope, I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. Everything was going really well. Now there are magical spooky lockers after me, because that makes sense. I've been chased by a lot of things since I played horror games, but lockers? Lockers are a new one. That's that's pretty spooky though. Pretty spooky. Is there something in here now? No. Where did the lockers come from? Oh, what am I listening to? Hello? You can't just say listen and then not say anything. What? Is <laughs> I don't think you understand how that works. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go in here and use my Zeta key card to get in. Let's see what's in store for me now. Oh! What was that? What was that? I guess it's just a camera glitch, but it's really freaking me out, man. I'm still not sure why I haven't read. Oh. oh, I don't know what's going on. I still don't know why I haven't seen any people yet. Why is. How did I get here? Hello? That was weird. I just teleported a little bit. That's very interesting. I'm not trying to ignore you. You just need to actually talk and say what you want to say. Oh my gosh, this guy's the worst at communicating. Oh, is this the other side of the... Oh, that's the other side of the area we were at. I don't know why we needed a key card to get to an area we could have gotten to normally, but... Alright then. I'm still not sure why I haven't found anyone out. Well, that, that's probably why I haven't found anyone else. That's... Really great! I, I guess I found why why no one's responding. Hello? Oh, I don't like this one bit. I do not like what's happening. Oh, hey man, I see you're just hanging out on the job. Uh, uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, oh, they're just swinging around. That's really pleasant. Really, really pleasant. I'm gonna read this now. All right. All of our equipment has been recently turning off all at once, although there was no power surge. However, when the event occurs, nothing unusual seems to be the cause. On a side note, we have been experiencing frequency interference in recent weeks. This has caused us to slow down research efforts as we have no control over experimentation when this happens. Using one of our spectrograms, we have recorded an odd signal, which we believe to be the source of the interference. Some of us suspect it could be Russian. Others think that it may be excessive ambient energy. This doesn't explain where it's coming from, however. Huh. I'm guessing it's not coming from these guys. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh, I keep hearing things. I do not like this one bit. So, I'm really curious why all these guys decided to hang themselves. And why this computer blue screened. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. I would be more mad if I knew what actually happened here, probably. Okay. Well, this is really fun, but I'm just gonna leave you guys to your thing. You guys, you guys are all great. It was good to meet you. I'm just gonna go, though. Oh, I guess I'm not going that way. <laughs> can I go upstairs? Can I? Oh, it looks like I can go upstairs. Alright, sweet. Well, it was very good meeting you. You guys have fun hanging out. I'm just... I'm just gonna go and hopefully not see whatever did that to you. Okay, well this is going splendidly. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. I think I'm supposed to be like turning the power off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just had a mini heart attack. I thought that guy was following me. I could just see him hanging back there, but I thought he was following me up the stairs. I thought he... I thought I was about to have to run. Oh my gosh. I did not need that. Oh! Nope, nope, didn't need that in my life either. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I thought I was safe. I thought I had gotten rid of the jump scares. Okay. That's really nice, Mr. Oh. oh, that's good. I didn't want to walk down the entire hallway. Glad I'm glad I'm here now. Oh, I need a Theta Sector keycard, of course. Yes, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, my heart did not need that. I like that little shortcut system though. I do I do like that. I gotta say something? I gotta say something? Personally, I'd rather you not break my spirit, but you know, maybe that's oh. Well, that's pleasant. It looks like there seems to be some mysterious red fluid leaking from the ceiling. I can only assume that it's Kool-Aid. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, good, good. I wanted to walk into the spooky darkness. That's just what I wanted. I mean, I'm not so sure now. <laughs> Thanks for that. All right, so maybe, maybe this isn't even real. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I, oh. Well, hello there, mysterious floating guy. That's really nice. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh gosh, stop it. Stop, I hate all the flickering. Oh, it's messing with my brain. I'm messing with my brain. What is this? Okay, the frequency interference we've been experiencing seems to be coming from below the surface of the earth. We've not yet pinpointed a location, but we are picking up more activity on our sonic monitoring equipment. I've not experienced this, but others have been complaining of hearing high-pitched ringing, not in the ears like tinnitus, but in the mind, as in internal sounds that they can't seem to get rid of. Our theory is perhaps some of them are sensitive to these frequencies, so much that it is capable of physically or psychologically affecting them, perhaps. Oh, is that why the people killed themselves? They were trying to get rid of it. Oh, good. I, I wanted to read this book on Nikolai Tesla. Thank you. Thank you for that. Can I? Oh, oh I teleported. I don't know where I am now, but oh, okay. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read this tablet. Maybe play some Angry Birds. All right. The frequency interference continues. We have not done any work for the past four days. No one has left. For some reason, I feel as though we are drawn to this place. We must stay. Sleep has been difficult, and our sanity seems to be slipping. I feel numb, yet cold. I feel I know less than I once did. My memories, my knowledge, my intelligence. What is this? I don't know, iPad. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go now. Thank you, thank you for that. Oh! Oh, I teleported to the other room! Okay, that's that's cool. Guess I'm just gonna go this way. Why am I teleporting? Oh, that's so weird. So weird. Oh, is this the key card? Who lied to me? Where's Rachel? I wrong game. Well, who's lying to me? Why am I looking at books of Nikolai Tesla? Don't they have anything else to read up here? Oh my gosh, I don't know why every What was that? I heard a noise. Oh, more blood from the ceiling. Nice. Nice. That's just really pleasant. Really? Wait, what? I'm back at the first room. Oh, and now I'm back on this side of the room. Oh, okay then. That's, that's really cool. I don't really know how I got here, but all right, then I guess I'm going in this door. Thank you, magical teleporting being for getting me here. Alpha sector key card. Nice. There we go. All right, so what what's going on in this room? Hello? What's going on here? Anything over here? No. Looks like there's a tablet over here though, so let's see what's going on. Oh, and the key card. Nice. All right, so what is what does this tablet have to say? A door. It's a door we've opened. The frequency. It communicates with us. We brought it here and you know what is going to happen? We can't leave because it's not let us leave. You knew this would happen. It's a portal. Takes your mind, not mine anymore. Okay then, apparently they opened a portal to somewhere. The portal to mind control. I don't I don't really know what's happening, but I don't really know if I want to stick around and find out. I think I I think I want to go home now. I, I think I think I've spent enough time in this creepy place and I'm just gonna go. 
Never mind, I'm gonna stay. I, I think staying is a great idea. I think this is a very friendly place. And I think I should stay here forever. I should stay. I <laughs> Apparently, whatever's happening doesn't want me. They don't want me to go. They, do, they don't want that to happen. So I'm just... I'm just gonna head on back to this room. Oh! Hello there, magical specter dude. I'm just gonna be heading right on over to where you are, so... I guess I'll see you in a minute, buddy. Oh! Okay! Yep, 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 this is going just great. Just wonderful. I'm super happy that I'm here. You got something to say? Wait, I'm gonna be immortal? Wait, 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 wait. Why, why am I turned into mortal? That sounds kind of awesome. But I guess I guess if I have to be a mortal and live here, I'm not so interested. So if you have like a really cool deal where I can do whatever I want, maybe that's a little better. Okay. I'm not really a fan of this spooky music though. And all this blood dripping from the ceiling. Hello? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. I feel like I should go home. Oh. Oh. Nice. We've got some satanic rituals over there. So I'm just going to go up. Nope. Guess I guess my only choice is to go the satanic ritual way. I mean, I, I've only started doing that since a few minutes ago when you made me question it. All right, what's this tablet say? It feeds. Came for my soul, our soul. Soul is not safe. Any soul, all soul. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm gonna step in the magical satanic ritual because that seems like a good idea. So let's let's do this. No? What, what am I supposed to do? Oh, is this like a puzzle? I think it's like a puzzle where I need to walk certain directions. I don't know where I'm supposed- Oh, it sent me back to the beginning. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I bet I need to figure out the right way to go. So if I- if I can figure out what the right direction is, maybe I can- Yes! It seems to be working. Okay, now which way do I go? I'll go this way. No, I I'll go this way. Dang it, I suck at this. <laughs> okay, now this way. And now one more, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I think I did it! I think I made it through the puzzle! Nice! Hail Satan! Alright, what's this say? Lost Souls says goodbye. Huh. Well, this seems really pleasant. I guess, I guess we're leaving. Goodbye, Lost Souls. It was good meeting you. Where the heck am I? Where the heck am I? Hi, Satan. Okay. Am I in hell? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm in hell. This is really cool. I mean, it's really pretty, but I don't think I want to live here. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to walk to Satan now. Don't, don't mind me. Oh my gosh, what is going on? I'm so confused right now, but this is so cool looking. Alright, well, I guess we're just... Wait, you're gonna make me a god? I mean, I can't really go the other way, so I guess I guess I will be following you, Satan. Alright, I'm moving closer, Satan. Uh, nice to meet you, I'm Bryce. So I think I might have made a bad decision. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that is the end of Cuban. Apparently the story was about how I met Satan. It was a very, very jolly story mixed with many plot twists. I <laughs> this was really weird, but I really enjoyed it. It was an absolutely beautiful horror game. I really liked just how detailed everything was. It was, 
it was a lot of fun. For an indie horror game, this is definitely one of the best ones that I've ever played. So huge shout out to the developer. This, this was just a great game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you guys did enjoy the video and you want to see me play more horror games, then make sure you give the video a like because it really does help me a lot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see my new videos as soon as they come out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.